Hi Aries, this is your November what do they think about you reading. This is a general what do they think about you reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Knight of Cups, Reverse, Strength, what's up Leo? Two of Coins, Reverse, Eight of Swords, The Priestess, Reverse, Five of Cups, Two of Cups, What's up, Capricorn? We have the devil in reverse. Nice. Okay. And ten of swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have page of cups in reverse. So this is definitely an energy of just dealing with um, someone who is not on your level. This can be someone who might be more emotionally immature than you. Maybe you're not getting the answers you wanted. You're not getting the, the emotions that you feel that you deserve. You know, not getting... Um, reciprocated emotion here and this card always really directly reminds me of Pisces okay so the fish there um, so we do have strong Pisces energy here but also I do feel that there is um you know there is a desire for reconciliation there is a desire to to address some sort of resentment but I feel like at this moment in time you're not getting the message or the answers and I feel like it's it's just not going in your favor, okay? So whoever side that could possibly be on. The Page of Cups can also, when it's in reverse, it can also talk about insecurity. So I feel like there's there's a lot of insecurities being brought up right now um, in this current energy, okay? In the recent past, I do see that someone was trying to hold it together. Um, someone was trying to be strong. I feel like there was a lot of disorganization around them. Um, I feel like could have been going through some issues at work, trying to be, be strong through any sort of disorganization or anything that's not really just balanced out in their life. I feel like there has been some disappointment, but through it all, through the chaos, through disappointment, I feel like they've trying, they've really tried to just be strong and stay focused and not let anything really penetrate them. Um, I do see here though, that they are. I don't feel that there is any sort of anger or any sort of malice around them, though. I do feel like they're very compassionate and I feel like they're very focused and they're trying to be strong no matter what they have been through. And I feel like that's in the past, there was a lot going on around them, like a tornado. And it's almost like they're just standing and watching the tornado go on around them. OK, and I feel like it had to do with a lot of um, emotional disappointment, disappointment from someone that they loved or that they perceive. Now, again, energies can be reversed, okay? I feel like there was someone that made an offer to them or some, okay. I feel like they were waiting for an offer from someone or like just contemplating an offer from someone and I feel like it never came through. So I feel like they were waiting to hear from someone, waiting for someone to reach out, but it just didn't come through. And that's why we have the page of cups here. They wanted to reconcile with someone. They messaged them or they just didn't get the response that they wanted. Why is strength here, please? Yeah, see, there was someone that they wanted to work with, someone that they wanted to build with. Um, some of them didn't get the job offer that they wanted to, is what I see here. There was an offer that they really had been thinking about, really wanting, and they never got that job offer, okay? They didn't get the promotion that they wanted <clears throat> or the new job that they were looking to get. But I do see here, though, that, you know, they're also in love. There's someone that they wanted to work with, they wanted to build something with, but I feel like there's just like a lack of coming together, just a lot of disorganization, um, a lot of group conflict, okay? Why is the Three of Pentacles here, please? Yeah, see? Oh. I just feel like, you know, it's like, in a sense, like they've completed this. They realize that they're not going to get the answers they want. They're not going to get the outcome that they want. So they're trying to overcome. They're trying to be strong. They're trying to put on a brave face and protect themselves. And I feel like they're closing the chapter to chaos. They're closing the chapter to, you know, disorganization around them. And I feel like they're going after their own personal harmony. Two of coins, please. Yeah. So I feel like some of them... 
have been dating, but the people that they have dated have not been, uh, they've been trying to talk to new people, but there's no one has really caught their interest. You know, they could be messy. Um, I feel like they have been trying to talk to people. It's also been kind of overwhelming too. So yeah, because I feel like they have been talking to certain people, um, trying to get their mind off of things, but I feel like they, they've been talking to people who are just really self-centered or really just playing mind games or focusing on themselves, um, or just not very stable. Okay. So I feel like that is also another indication here. Um, I do feel like though they felt that previously the reason why I feel like they are dating and try to get their mind off of things is because I feel like they were previously connecting to an energy where someone was just, um, you know, cold to them or they feel like wasn't being truthful to them, just wasn't being a stable figure. So I feel like they have been trying to be brave. You know, the Knight of Wands is someone who's very brave, someone who's very fearless, um, someone who takes action. So I feel like they decided to take action and give themselves closure and through it all they're trying to maintain composure they're trying to maintain um bravery here okay i feel like that currently there has been a lot of mental entrapment i feel like being very secretive right now there could be some secret agendas but i feel like they're holding back um i feel like they still look upon a situation with disappointment here i still feel like they they still are disappointed about what happened or the outcome. They still feel the loss. They still grieve this sometimes, but I feel like they aren't letting anyone know. Um, you know, they're just keeping their emotions hidden. They're keeping their emotions secret. And I feel like they're not really telling anyone about their plans. I feel like they're almost more so in their head as opposed to the 3D world. Okay, so what I mean like this, I feel like as a safety mechanism, as a coping mechanism, I definitely feel like this is someone who lives in the fantasy world. Um, this is someone who very much so believes that they were the victim or that they, the, another person was at fault for this situation. Okay, um, and I feel like there are a lot of hidden agendas here. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Swords, please. Why is this here? Eight of Swords. Yeah, High Priestess again. So we do have strong Pisces energy here. Um, you know, and for some of you, B or J can be very relevant. The initials B or J. But I do see that there's... Um, it's like their hands are tied is what I see here. Their hands are definitely tied. They feel mentally trapped. They feel that they were the victim in this situation. And I feel like they're just really holding back, really, really holding back, really being secretive. Um, they feel like they lost themselves or feeling like it's like they keep comparing people to one other person. Like nothing compares to a certain person. I feel like they try to date, they've tried to get their mind off of things, but at the end of the day, it always comes back to this thought, this manifestation that they never really received, that they wanted, but it never came. It was disappointing. <clears throat> and I feel like a part of them is almost in a way wishing that this could be resurrected, but I feel like some of them have spoken their mind and they haven't gotten the answers that they want. Why is the High Priestess here, please? Ooh. Why is the High Priestess here, please? What's up, Virgo? What's up, Scorpio? I do see here that they are in deep contemplation right now. A lot of them are just trying to heal. They're just trying to rejuvenate themselves. I feel like they have pulled back. Um, you know, they're searching for their truth, what their own personal truth is, what that means for them. And for everyone, it's very different. Um, but I do see here that they're really just trying to get out of this. It's like they can move past it, but they're trying to, they're just really in their head is what I see. The hermit, please. Yeah. They're just daydreaming, you know, daydreaming a lot in their head a lot, I also feel here that there's, you know, other choices, there's other options in their life. They're daydreaming, but I feel like through it all, like they're not really interested 
in these choices. You know, they feel like they're just not themselves. Five of Cups, please. Ooh, too many. I feel like they're holding on to a situation. Part of them still holds on. Okay. But I feel like, you know, there could be, someone could be blocked here. Okay. Someone could have blocked another person or just be extremely guarded. And so it's like, they don't know how to fix it because they're being blocked. And I feel like there is some deception here. It's like they can't manifest. They can't plan. They don't know how to plan. The magician in reverse doesn't know how to plan. It's a poor planner. But I feel like and some of them have found creative ways to reach out or something and been very creative. But it's just, it's almost like they can't break through a barrier. And so that's why they feel like their hands are tied. They want to resurrect something. Um, they've tried to come up with secret agendas. They've done everything. They've done everything they felt they could do within their means. Okay. So I feel like right now, I feel like what once was, you know, strong to them. I feel like they're letting go of. I feel like there is definitely... This connection was much so a, a soulmate connection, I feel like. This was definitely a strong connection or had so much potential to be so. Um, I do see here, though, that someone is releasing this and putting this to an end. And I feel like has tried to date other people, but I feel like they haven't felt anyone that has left a bigger impact on them as this connection. Okay. Now, again, that could be you cross watcher, but I definitely see here that what's once was like strong. I feel like it's being released. Someone here is getting their freedom. Someone's releasing, you know, a situation. Someone is putting an end. They feel like they were betrayed. Okay. And I feel like there was definitely a painful ending here, but it just was that it was something that didn't work. It was a failure. You know, it was a, a defeated energy. And I feel like they're, re they're releasing this. And I feel like some of them could be focusing on new love or going towards new love with the two of cups here. Okay. Because they're not getting the people they have been dating have been disappointed. The person that they really want they feel like their hands are tied in regards to the situation. So I feel like if anything, it could even be self-love. Clarify two of cups, please. Why is this here? Two of cups, please. Yeah, I feel like... It's like things are just not as they want it just yet. Okay, things are just not as they want it just yet. There's been a lot of extreme emotions and extreme energies going on that have not been balanced. But I do feel like taking a step back and realizing that they there's something, they're not getting the results because of something internal. And I feel like they recognize this. And I feel like they are working on themselves, um, loving themselves in order for them to attract new love that is, you know, that they deserve. Yeah, they're going to be making a choice. They're reflecting on, they're reflecting on past relationships, past people, past situations themselves. And I feel like they're making a choice. They're really going through some self-evaluation right now. Um, forgiving, forgetting. And I feel like they're realizing that if I want new love if i want true love it starts with from within okay so i feel like they are on this loving themselves kick or learning to love themselves why is the devil here please yeah because there has been some some of them have been dealing with depression um there has been some negativity around them some sadness around them and they're letting go of that and they're realizing that true change starts from within and i feel like they're changing by this thought form by this way of thinking, I feel like they're going to change their life with the will of fortune. So I feel like they are taking accountability for any of their parts 
in situations that they have been in. And I feel like they're changing their life. Okay. They're changing their life. They're starting a new cycle. Okay. Why is the death card here? The ten of, ten of swords, please. Yeah. I feel like they're putting an end to a situation that was just painful. They felt betrayed. Um, and I feel like they're planning, they're making decisions. Um, I feel like they are, you know, making themselves better in order to receive love or give love um, to a higher level is what I see here. So I do feel like Brett is working on themselves. They're acknowledging any faults that they may have had. Um, but they're going through a really strong self-evaluation process is what I see here. Okay, so it says reunion. Opportunity to meet your soulmate. This is an act of destiny. Realization of personal hopes and dreams. A change for the better. Life works in cycles from the past will come happiness. Okay. And that's what I feel like they're doing. I feel like they're definitely um, letting go of this unhappiness, letting go of darkness. And I feel like they're opening themselves up to be ready for a new cycle, preparing themselves for a new cycle in order to be re reunited with their soulmate. Um, you know, someone that was fated to them. Um, or someone from the past, okay? Because true love starts from within. It says awareness. Um, you are completely aware of the situation in your life. Do not underestimate the danger. By being aware of the situation, it will help you to avoid danger. This will give you more choices. This card represents a person, okay? Um, so just be aware. There could be a snake around some of you, okay, or someone that's meddling or just not trustworthy. Someone could be watching you with not the best intentions that is cold, okay? But it's like, do not underestimate the danger. And it says it is a person, Okay, Let's see what message they have for you from their higher self. It says, I just got sidetracked. Okay, so I feel like they they have been dealing with things at work and things of that nature. Okay, so I do feel like someone may have had a lot going on. Songs are speaking to me. So there could be a song that you guys shared or that was significant or a song that reminds you um, them of you and I feel like you know it definitely is speaking to them right now so music could be very important in this connection one more message please there we go Ooh. It says, I'm still haunted by my actions. Okay, so I feel like they did get sidetracked. Um, someone here did something that may have hurt the connection or hurt the relationship. And I feel like they're really they're really thinking about this. Now, now remember what I said, there is a lot of self-evaluation here. Um, looking at themselves. And I feel like that's a good place to start. I think anytime someone's trying to take accountability, it shows a lot of strength, a lot of maturity. And it says, you're the only person who truly gets me. Okay. So just know that, you know, they don't feel that anyone here was on your level. Okay. They have people who are just cold or just, um, unstable and they don't vibe with them. Okay. So you guys, before I close you out, I'm going to pull a card from the rebel deck because my readings can get a little heavy sometimes. Okay. Okay. It says, Put the fucking phone down. Too many, too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Yes. Get, go talk to a live person. And it says, don't believe every shit thought you have, every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. Yep. And that's exactly why we have the Eight of Swords, because people get stuck in their thoughts and their thoughts can be really um, devastating. So that's why it's important to get out, get out in nature, go out with your friends, go out for happy hour, just get out 
and, um, you know, put the phone down, get off of social media, you know, get off of you, whatever, even YouTube. <laughs> After you're done with this video, go get out, okay? So Aries, I'm going to leave it here, my dears. I hope you guys um, like and subscribe. Love and light to you. I will catch you on your next videos. Take care.